Now let's begin this conversation first taking our quote from Mahatma Gandhi who once said, an eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. Absolutely spot on. My next quote is from Isaac Asimov who once said, violence is the last refuge of the incompetent. Okay, I'll take my next one and this one is from E.F. Um, Shumasha who once said, any intelligent fool can make things bigger, more complex, and more violent. It takes a touch of genius and a lot of courage to move in the opposite direction. I'm sure you agree with that one. Okay, my last quote will be from Malcolm X who said, If someone puts their hands on you, make sure they never put their hands on anybody else. And because I love that one, my last one will be from... George Orwell, who once said, people sleep peaceably in their beds at night only because rough men stand ready to do violence on their behalf. Absolutely spot on. Let's see how this quote relates to what we'll be discussing today. Very warm greetings and welcome to The Conversation, reaching you from Captain's Television here in the nation's capital, Abuja. I am Annabelle Oji. Today, we'll turn our attention to... Um, the communal crisis happening in Okwama and Okolobia and then see uh, with all that has happened, there's no point going back to talk about it. But then let's see how we can um, bring forth lasting solutions to this crisis. My guest on the show today is um, Eshanepe Israel, who is the mayor of Oberland and he is the president of Coalition of Ex and Niger Delta um, agitators. We'll be talking about um, how we can bring forth peace in the area because a lot of people have been killed, mil uh, military men, even um, uh, individuals uh, who, innocent people have been killed in this. So we're trying to see how we can broker peace immediately and then and I'll have bring you a report on that video in case you've not been following that um, story. We'll definitely bring you some other reports but then Let's go on a quick break and I'll bring you some reports. And when we return, I will kickstart this conversation today. Remember, only you can bring peace in your state, in your place. It starts with you. On Thursday, 14th March 2024, 17 military personnel were killed while on a peaceful and mediatory mission to quell the communal clash between Okauma and Okoloba community in Ogeli South and Bumadi local government areas of Delta State. Reacting to the incident, during plenary, a motion of urgent public importance was raised by Honorable Babajimi Benson, member representing Ikorodu Federal Constituency, Lagos State. Raising the motion, Honorable Benson explained that these military personnel were only responding to a distress call in their service to their fatherland when they were ambushed and killed. The House is aware that these military personnel were only responding to a distress call in their service to their fatherland when they were ambushed and killed on the fateful day. The House is distressed that the perpetrators of the heinous act did not only stop at killing this military personnel, but also sacrilegiously debased their remains by ripping out their hearts and other body parts. The House is worried that unless this act is checked and stopped, acts like this by the very people the Nigerian armed forces are meant to protect have the potential of demoralizing the military and affecting the war on insecurity and insurgency. The House, however, adopted an amendment of the earlier resolution following a raised by Honorable Francis Waive. In this regard, Speaker Tajuddin Abbas, who presided the plenary, called for a voice vote that went in favor of the House majority. Speaker, I joined the mover of the motion to condemn in the most uh, strongest term, the killing of our military personnel is something that should not be tolerated anywhere and the perpetrators must be brought to book. I agree with the prayers that uh, the event, the sad occurrence should be investigated, except that I request that the House Committee on Defense 
lead that process. The House Committee on Defense should lead that process. I also request, Mr. Speaker, my people are currently displaced. They are in the bush. Nobody is in the house in that community. The community has been raised down, and people are dying out of hunger. And the ones that were seen have been uh, killed. There's a need for intervention on humanitarian grounds. While the culprits have been uh, investigation, will bring out the real perpetrators of this uh, sad occurrence. Innocent civilians, innocent law-abiding citizens of this country who happen to come from a Kwama community should not be made to suffer. This motion as amended, she say aye. Those against, you say nay. That is of it. This uh, motion is referred to the committees on defense, army, police, and national intelligence for further legislative action. Shall we rise for a minute silence in honor of the deceased? A minute of silence for the deceased military personnel, as requested among the earlier resolutions, was therefore observed by the House. From the nation's capital, Mavis Akko, Captain TV News. Welcome back. If you just joined us, this is The Conversation. We are reaching you from Kaftan's um, television. Now we're going straight to a conversation for today. We're talking to um, the mayor of Oberland, that's um, Ishanekbe Israel, who is a former militant leader. We'll be looking at the ongoing um, tussle happening in um, the South, in the Del Niger Delta region. We'll be taking um, talks and confessions from him with regards to what is happening and what can be done to ameliorate the situation. Great to have you on the show today. Yeah, thank you. Great. All right, now let's start first. We'll, we'll, get, we'll go straight to all that is happening today, but then let's start with where it all began from um, the communal clash that started between Okwama and Okolobia. What exactly happened or what exactly is the reason for that clash? Because a lot of people are having divergent view in that regard. What can you tell us? Okay, so Okwama is from uh, Ugelesa local government area of Delta State. Why Okoloba is from Bomodi local government area of the same Delta State. We, we the robots and the jaw, we are believing together for over a decade, and we grow up to see that uh, we are brothers and sisters. And we have been doing that for the past archival, uh, you know, a lot of uh, years. So now, I'm not here to say uh, maybe uh, standing for robo or standing for each other, standing for the side of the government. I want. I'm here to say the truth. How it's supposed to, uh, you know, uh, supposed to be, you know. Uh, happen, how uh, we're supposed to live together in that uh, region. Uh, all started uh, the, the uh, uh, January 20, uh, 2014, 2024, when issue of Okwama and Okoloba uh, started. I came out boldly to call on the state government and the federal government to step into this matter because we have, uh, with the uh, Baigola, from Baigola community, the same uh, Ugelisa local government area. We come across this kind of issue before. Communal crisis, well, we started it in uh, 1993, ended uh, 19, uh, 90, uh, 1997. So at that time, it, uh, it was a military regime, uh, which is uh, Babangida, is the uh, head of state then. So we know what it is to, you know, to uh, withstand any communal crisis. That was why I call on the federal government, the state government, to step in in this matter. They did not hear my call. A negligent is what uh, lead to what we are seeing today. Uh, on the 14, a news uh, broke out that the uh, military went there and they were eh, they were killed. You know. So when we out of that news, we started calling making a uh, you know call all over the places to actually know what is uh what went wrong what led to the killing of uh, uh, nigeria uh, military and uh first and foremost i sympathize with the family of the military that were killed 
you know, during this, uh, their peace uh, keeping. Uh, so, and uh, may their soul rest in peace. Uh, actually, I'll be telling this uh, government, security is not something for just for uh, conventional security alone. It's for conventional security and your conventional security. But Nigeria government, Nigeria security, they think that they can do this work alone. That, that was why you see insecurity all over the places. According to what we heard, what we hear from the communities, uh, they said the military came for peacekeeping. They were demanding to see the committee chairman, and the committee chairman came with his uh, executive. They now entertain the police, uh, the military men very well. Cuisine of Kola, not everything they did well. That is the caution of Robo. We don't kill stranger, you know. After everything, the, the, the military demanded that they want to go with the first of all, the first of all asked that they want to, where is the juju, the shrine of this community located? The community now said, why are you asking of our, our, our shrine? They said, are you coming to speak with the shrine? So they now stop from there. Then they now say, okay, uh, they want to go with the, the community leader, the committee chairman, or the uh, ESCO of the committee. The committee now resists that. No, you can't go with our leader. And you know, any crisis like this, once you capture the leader of the committee, automatically you overpower the, 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 the community. And you know this Nigeria. Insecurity today we are uh, having today in this country. I'm robber will wear common flag. I'm robber will wear police uniform. A kidnapper will wear police uniform. A kidnapper will wear military uniform. So these people now wondering, how can a government people come came here to say they are demanding for this and that? So they say, no, you can't go with our leader. From there, according to the source, that the, the military men open fire and keep it two people instantly. That was what led to this, uh, what we are seeing today. And I can't stand here now, sit here to say, it's Okwama that did that killing. Or it's Okoloba that did that killing. I'm, yes, I'm not in position to say that. The security agency, the government of the day, they have the power to do their intelligent gathering to actually know what leads to this killing and the people that are involved in that killing. And they should do their proper investigation, not to be bulldozing, killing people, killing innocent people, you know, that this world will now bring the result. As I speak, now anybody that's involved in that kind of killing, you will see him in that very committee. Even if you know Niger Delta, you can't see that kind of person. So, the president of this country, commander-in-chief, he should give directive to the security agency, especially the police. Let them do their proper investigation to fish out those people that are actually involved in those the, in killing of military. Nobody's happy that uh, the military, the ones that are protecting the, 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 secure, uh, the uh, life and uh, property of this uh, nation, that they be killed. Nobody will be happy for that. And the military people, they have wife, they have children, they have family. Pray for them. So nobody's happy that they kill uh, 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 military people. And the other way around, military people, their life are very important, while other citizens' are life are also very important. Life is all equal in the, in the you know, in the presence of God. So we actually appeal to these military people going up and down looking for, for a, a perpetrator that involved in this killing of military people. They should do that. They should do their proper investigation. Now, we had again now that uh, on Monday, they went to Bayasa again. One uh, 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 militant they call uh, Magbe. They went to his community that he leaked to the the killing of uh, uh, those soldiers, they burned down some of uh, part of his community, keep people there also. So we don't need that because it's the citizen, innocent people they are killing. As I speak to you now, Okwama community, the, 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 the people where the, the military took over the whole community, you can't even see any fly in that community anymore. It's only the military take over the place. And the people that ran into bush, as I speak to you now, they are seeing the bush. Left is your community, Right is your community. They don't know how to come out to say, okay, let us see how we can survive. So as I speak to you now, that body is inside the bush because no food to eat, children are in the bush, women, men are in the bush. 
So this what we are calling on the federal government, the state government, especially the governor of Delta State, is the chief, is the uh, uh, chief security officer of that state. He's supposed to really work well. He went and meet uh, uh, Mr. President. I don't know. We have not seen what they have discussed. But I'm appealing to them that they should go and rescue the community people that is the bush right now. They should go there and rescue. They should, they, Mr. President should give directive to the military to stop harassing each citizen because of uh, military that they, that they kill. They kill military totally wrong. We are condemning that. Nobody is happy that the military that are protecting the, the, the nation, they kill them. One, one person will clap their hand that the these people they try. No. As we speak to you now, we don't know who kill military. Whether it is a job, whether it is a robot, we don't know who kill military. That is the position we are now. That is position we are now. Okay. Now you've said a lot of things and we're going to draw out um, strings from all that you've said. But first, I would ask you, because like they always say, the fly that um, perches inside the vegetable or destroys the vegetable is definitely inside the vegetable. So are you categorically telling Nigerians that as uh, an Ijo leader, one of the, um, the mayor of Uhoboland, you don't have any idea on who exactly um, started uh, killing you know, those military people? We, is that what what we had... What is circulating all over the nation is that the military went there for peacekeeping. And you know, madam, if you are going there on a peacekeeping, you are not going there to fight insurgency, fight Boko Haram, all kidnappers. You did not go there with the leaders of various communities. We have leaders. They are not living in that very community. We have leaders that are covering the whole Robo nation. There's a leader that covering the whole Ijo nation. You are going there for peacekeeping without letting the leader know, without going there with the leaders. This is the mistake of the military that they did. Is that the bone of contention? Yeah. No, that is not the bone of contention. I'm just efficient that ad now that the military that went there on peacekeeping without the leaders of various uh, communities, they did wrong on that very part. We should be, we should be called a spade a spade. You are going there a strange land. You are not an Ijo man. You are not a robo man. You are not a Nudokwa man. A, mil a, a, a military man from other part of the country. You went there alone, say you are going there for peacekeeping. How? There's a question. We need to ask question. What happened is wrong. Killing military is wrong. But there's a question we need to ask the military people authority. Why do they go there without going, without going there with the leaders of various communities? Because I supposed to do, when we had our crisis in 2000, 1993, when the kings, the king from the robo and the just, they went together, meet together, started going, where they were going to anywhere, for, for example, they are coming to Baigolo, they will go there with the military, protecting them, guiding them. It's the same way they want to go to a summer community. It's the same thing. But these people, they went alone. I have the mayor of Roboland. I'm not aware that the military are going there. I think other leaders too from the, the Joe and the robo, they don't know that the military are going there. And you say you went down a peacekeeping. Peacekeeping are low. Only you can only the military do the work without the, the, the leaders, without the all conventional security. No, the answer is no. So I don't know whether uh uh, uh German, German, German people that kill the, the soldier, all the robot people that kill the soldier, we don't know what we had. They killed military personnel, 17 of them. That's what we had. That, that was why I said the authority to set up a committee, a neutral body to go and do that investigation. While they are doing that, the military should stop harassing communities. And the government, the, the, the government, the federal government, the state government should send a rescue team to go and rescue people from the bush of Okwama community. Yes. All right. Yes. So now we, we hear that um, Ijo people flee as soldiers, trace militant leader behind killing, swap on Bayelsa, Bomadi communities kill youth, arrest Akubeni um, chairman. Tell us, uh, they, 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 they say they're looking for a particular militant leader who is, is involved said, in this. Is what what can you tell us? If in this they are regard? looking for a particular militant leader that is involved, that was involved in this killing, why do they go to destroy Okwama community? That means they have not even known who did that killing now, as we speak now. 
Are you getting me now? And uh, there's a video surfacing now. Somebody came up. And that person, I think I suspect to be in a, a Magbe that the military are looking for now. He came out to say, he said a lot of things. That uh, Tompolo, he's the one that uh, sent military to that community. And the military went there on an illegal duty. So I want to state it very clear here that Tompolo, they should remove Tompolo out of Kwama and uh, Koloba community. Topolo is doing his work. Topolo is a leader that everybody in the Niger Delta believe on. He's protecting the economy of this country. Topolo, if they destroy Lokoloba Rich Ground or they destroy Okwama Rich Ground, Topolo will not benefit anything. And the contract they gave to Topolo is cover everybody. And the Magbe that is claiming that Topolo that sent people to go and uh, uh, military to go and uh, do illegal work to go upon uh, 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 Kwama, the Amagwe, Topolo is paying the Amagwe 200 million naira by month. Allegedly. Yes, to stop, allegedly, to stop illegal bunkering. He's paying this man 200 million naira for him to stop, but the Amagwe refused to stop. I don't know whether Topolo has stopped the money that he's giving him every month because Topolo carry everybody's along. Why I know that Topolo is a leader? Not that what we are seeing on the social media, Tobola have done this, have all have done that. Now, for example, now, let us assume that if you are in uh, any part of that region now, they gave you the contract to covering your, that, uh, your area, and people started petitioning, agitating, that uh, a social person that they gave the job is not carrying everybody along. Tobola will send men to that place. He will engage a lot of people again, and that place is already located to you. Tobola is paying you on a monthly basis to take care of your people. But if anything comes out from that place, because Topolo don't want anything that will destroy this job that he's doing, he will carry other people along that you're supposed to, your responsibility, that you're supposed to carry those people along, that you fail to do so. Topolo will not stop your payment. He will go around again to engage those people. This is what Topolo is doing. So what I want to say here is that they should remove Topolo out of this. Okoloba is not Topolo's community. Okwama is not Topolo's community. As the leaders of the old Niger Delta, we, all of us now, we are working to make sure that peace return to that two community. We are working to make sure that peace return to the Niger Delta. So, issue of measuring people, this one involved, this one involved. Topolo that I know, Topolo can involve himself, that he want to set the robo uh, community uh, on fire, or set the Nokoloba on fire. Topolo cannot do that. So, that is the position that I'm stating here. That I'm stating here. All right, I'm going to ask you a double-edged question. The first one is, I hear we hear the um, Senate president say that what is happening is um, he, he actually um, pinned it to mercenaries from outside and not um, people of that community. Would you agree with that? And as as one of, I remember you're, you're the president yes, of the coalition you. of um, X Niger Delta. Uh, militants. So, uh, -agitators. agitators. Okay. So, when you come together, your ex agitators, how come you're not able to fish out who have infiltrated? Uh, and nobody give me a job to go and uh, look for people that give military. They have not given me that job. I cannot be doing a job. job that is not, I'm not assigned to. Nobody is going to do that. But you are the, among the people who say, see something, say something. You no, know, see something, say something that you will not go and do a job that they don't call you for. If you die, you die, you die, you die, you die Kamala. We call her Oyo. Oyo is your name. Government have not engaged me to go and look for people that keep military. So I can't do that job. But what I want, I want peace in my region. I want peace in my in robo community. I want peace in the Ijol community. Then, issue of senior president. In fact, when I saw that news, eh, I, I keep wondering whether... Is in senior president, yes. Why is he saying that the foreigner that went to Okwama or uh, Koloba to go and kill people? Which kind of talk is that? You know, I'm very, very disappointed on that senior uh, president comment because it's a person from the region. He knows the way our people is. So if anything happened, okay, is uh, uh, Ghana or America that went there and killed people, 
Is that what the senior president is telling Nigeria? That word is is total. I'm totally disappointed. In fact, all Nigeria are disappointed in that comment. Maybe uh, other perspective. Why he says so is because the act of those, the way those people have been brutalized. You kill person, not just killing. You remove his head, remove his hand. You tear his stomach for what? Maybe because of that. So uh, if it's not because of that, maybe it's just it mean what he's saying that it's a foreigner that wanted to kill. Him. Because that is shock me. On another thing again. You talk to the Senate President on my yes, show. Yes, yes. That way. All right then. Let's go on a quick break, and when we return, we'll continue this conversation with Eshanekwe Israel. I'll see you after this timeout. Join us again. This one, now be my last video. When I go do concerning this Okuama and Okoloba fight, Okuama and Okoloba, they get land issue. The land issue, small crisis called the day. Oh, now, where be is your people? Where federal government give power to the bomb bakery, to the bomb dessert, and they cook? They use the same army they escort their own, they go sell. They betray their own blood. That man, he go use the army, carry people from Okwama community. Three people where they carry, they slaughter them. Now, they know they come back to come carry community leaders. And I know very well, say, once the community leaders are captured, the youth are powerless. The action take place. When they make comments, say, now peacekeeping, all those army come. Point of correction, no army come for peacekeeping. They, they fight in favor of Tompolo, because Tompolo have ordered them to do so. When they say make I show my face, all this on a comment, one of the comments, not just ordinary written, not writing, not just the write. If I know if you talk through for this, my land, you know, get where I go, go when I go talk to, when I go believe her. Now, this video will be the last video when I go do. My papa, a retired captain for this Nigeria. He died last year, he retired as a captain in the army, and I don't lost over six of my friends and relatives. For this Nigeria, remember as an army, this Nigeria is not worth dying for as a country. And they let you know. So, if you want to like, I'm going to carry this matter from here to the next level. If you want to like, my federal government declare me wanted. I'm proud of it. Yes, I'm proud of it. Now they say, show your face. If I show my face, what do you go do me? What do you go do me? So to talk through for this country now, a crime. No wonder what they say, truth is always bitter. Crisis, day between two community. When I know if you call the elders, I know if you call the leaders to settle the issue amicably. If they want to oppress one side for other side, if they call them peacekeeping. I said that they keep peace. Okay, now I go school pass. Now I know the law pass. Now so, oppression. This country, eh, if not before one thing, eh, I for say, eh, make it be like that. North, day or not. South, day or south. All army, if you deserve this country, serve with sense. If you be police, police with sense. This Nigeria, your country is not worth dying for. I they tell now. Don't get sense. Welcome back. If you just joined us, this is the conversation reaching you from Captain's Television. And if you just joined us, you've actually missed out on the first part of the show. But then you can join in the second part as we're talking about um, the Okwama Oklova crisis and all that has been happening since then. And my guest on the show today is Shanepe Israel, who happens to be um, the mayor of Uhubo land. Okay, now before we went on that um, break, we've actually stated quite a number of things and um, let's now talk about um, the Vanguard newspaper this morning says killings, troops comb by Elsa Delta Creeks for a militant leader. But there's a particular um, rider to that headline that actually struck me. It says um, uh, CDD asked um, federal government to address um, deteriorating civil military relations. Niger Delta 
host communities condemn killings, want culprit brought to justice. But then it says, remind warring communities of OD sad experience. And really, that reminds me of the OD sad experience, the Zaki Biyama experience. How can we ensure that it doesn't get that far and it doesn't happen again? Uh, no, you know, the, the thing is that uh, what happened in the in OD uh, is what we're witnessing now. I think with this one now, uh, what we are seeing right now, uh, since I was born, I have said this before. Even when we are in the struggle of the militancy, we have not uh, done this kind of uh, thing that we are witnessing now. So I think with this one now, with the action of the military, uh, I think, I don't think it's good to repeat. And also, I want to appeal to the authority, the military, the government, the federal government, the state government, Whatever they, they are going to do, all they are doing, they should carry the youth and the leaders of various communities along so that to, to avert this kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, situation. Mm. Okay, so let's go back to, uh, we, we actually, before we went on that break, we are actually talking about um, the statement made by the Senate President, which he said is not, um, it, it can't be um, machineries and all. Then we hear uh, most of the um, Senate uh, members saying that, um, yes, they need to fish out uh, those who are perpetrating this act. And then it's been a long time coming and um, all of that. But then we have people who have been condemning the act and said it is all shades of wrong. But then before we went, um, we went off camera, you, you were going to tell us something about um, one of the statements made by the Senate president. So I'd like you to bring so back on now, that. The Senate president said that uh, people that involved with those uh, killing of military they are not Nigeria, they are foreigners. I think that word is uh, it's a shocking uh, uh, word, a statement. How can you be saying that there's something that happened in uh, Okwama, the Koloba community, uh, Fakatos River, that they are not uh, Nigeria. They are Nigerians, you know, and we have uh, witnessed uh, more than that in the North. So they are Nigerians. So uh, the thing is that uh, Nigeria should set up a committee uh, a, a neutral body, you know, comprises the youth and the uh, key traditional rulers, uh, community leaders, to make sure that uh, this uh, investigation they want they're going to do, let it be is uh, all inclusive, to make sure that they uh, will get to the root of uh, what actually happened. That people that involve anybody that is involved in this uh, killing of soldier, he must face the law. That is uh, what I'm. Uh, uh, stand for yeah. Then uh, the issue of uh, the Senate, the Senate said that the senator represented the uh, Delta Central Sindoria District. It is an emotion that uh, the IDP display in Okwama, uh, government should uh, uh, send uh, 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 this uh, relief material to them. And the Senate of Akpabio, led by Akpabio, kick against that uh, it's only the military, the families, of the uh, military that died, that they, that was key, uh, is the one that uh, government will say palliative to, is the one that government will take care of. The thing that has happened has happened. You know, everybody's life is important. The, 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 the military, the families of the military, yes, they should do what the government, uh, they should send palliative to them, they should take care of them, they should compensate them. Why the IDP discipline in the in the Okwama community, if the government uh, the government itself, both state and the federal, should also send a, a relief material to them and also send a rescue team to go and rescue people from the bush. As I speak to you now, I've said it before: people are in the bush; they need to be rescued. Mm. All right. So I hear you say that people are in the bush, and yes, yes, they need to be rescued. So what exactly? Um, what kind of help can um, the coalition of ex-agitators do here to help? Because I hear you say that you were not called to, they don't send you work. But then, it is your people. So how can you put yourselves together, your community leaders together, the religious leaders, the traditional leaders together to ensure that this is stalled immediately so that those that are inside the bush can return back home to yes. their families? You no, know, uh, the way it is now, military have taken over the community. It's not something that a committee leaders or leader from any part of this uh, Niger data who just go and uh, they want to go and rescue people. That's why I said the, the government should set up a committee 
comprises the military, the all security, DSS, uh, uh, youth, and uh, leaders, traditional rulers, to go and rescue those people. Because it's not something anybody, we, the coalition of the members, we are valuable if the government calls us. We must definitely stand to make sure that peace reign and uh, rescue those people. We are valuable, but we are waiting from uh, the government to call us. All right, so, um, Eshenefe Israel, let's conclude on this um, matter. Now, what exactly is the lasting solution to this? Like I said, to avoid the OD crisis, uh, uh, what happened in, in the OD crisis, to avoid the Zakibiam. What is the lasting solution that can be done from either the traditional leaders or the religious leaders or even to people like you who are who is at the helm of affair either as a traditional leader or as um, the president of the coalition of um, ex niger delta agitators yeah what well, we are now is not uh, avoiding or the or the crisis you know, the crisis have already happened it's same thing now we we witness you know, that uh, we're witnessing now the solution now is this I, the government of the day, the state and the federal government, they should come together and set up a committee. And uh, uh, the, 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 the military side, the security aspect of it, they should uh, use an uh, intelligent gathering. They should work with everybody to fish out those people that involved in this, uh, this uh, killing of military. They should stop going to village, one village or other, to go and looking for people. No, intelligent gathering. We, we have intelligence in this country. So they should uh, work with the locals. They should work with the uh, uh, conventional security to make sure that we identify those people that involved with those killing. The traditional rulers of robos, the opinion leaders of robos, the one for Shekiri uh, uh, is yours. Everybody should come, to, uh, come together. We have leaders on, uh, in uh, various uh, uh, ethnic nationalities, you know. Uh, and I want to uh, beg the government, whatever thing they want to do, peace talk, dialogue they want to do, they should make sure that they also work with Tompolo. They should work with Tompolo because there's no we are in the Niger Delta. Bill Robo, Bill Dokwa, Bill Shekiri, that Tobolo will come out and say, let peace reign, that peace will not reign. They should work with Tobolo. They should work with all of us to make sure that peace reign. The military, the government cannot do this work alone. They should stop killing of innocent. What happened has happened. It's the solution we are looking for now. Everybody should wake up. Government wake up. Federal government wake up. State government wake up. Traditional leader wake up, opinion leader wake up, youth wake up to make sure that what happened in this our, our region should not repeat itself. Okay, so Eshani Fraser, are you pledging to help the security officials when you see something that is from people from your community? Would you say something? Ah, uh, if I see somebody from my community that's ready to set Niger Delta on fire, then I must say it. I can't cover it because. I'm a leader. I'm leader for all, not leader for my community alone. So if government come upon me, call upon leaders, other leaders, because only me cannot do the work alone. So we will do this work and get to the end of this uh, uh, crisis. Definitely. All right. Let's 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 um, turn our attention a little bit to other matters and talk about the crude oil um, theft. I remember having this conversation with you, and then you talked about um, how when well, we talked about the Tantita services, Tompolo's um, um, work, and then I remember you saying something about quote. I might not be able to quote you um, uh, uh, f word for word, but what you stated is that when you need, um, you even saying it now, when, you, when you're talking about bringing in security officials, you need the conventional and the unconventional security mm -hmm. to man that area. Now, Obed, you talked about the fact that if the pipeline pass the places where the pipeline passes through. Let's let's say you go to Emo State, you go to Akwaibom and all of that, the Niger Delta regions. They need the locals, people from that um, place. If you are if you're going to um, secure the pipeline around Okwama, it means that you need people from that oh. particular region, the locals. Yes. Else that you cannot bring people, someone from Oklobia to come and um, man the uh, come and secure 
uh, Okwama, is that still a bone of contention if, if you have to bring people from um, other regions to come and secure um, another community? Is it still a bone of contention here? No. Uh, what I said is what the, the Tobolo is doing right now, the Tantita, which is the MD of uh, Tantita, Tobolo. Uh, people from Urubu are the ones securing the Urubu pipeline. People from every other community, they are the ones secure what is in their land. That was why now you see that. That is why you see that nobody is vandalizing any pipeline anymore. But we For still example, have crude oil theft. Yeah? We still yes. have the issue uh, of crude oil theft. Yes, you know, it's something that uh, this is just started. You can't just do this thing just a few months. Where they, but this, they have minimized before. If you go to the Niger Delta, the East West Road, East West Road, you will see a lot of. You know, uh, a crude oil, you know, illegal bunker passing the road on daily basis. But no, but no one is passing now. So Tobola have drawn, uh, 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 let me say, 75% of this, uh, reduce this uh, crude oil term to very minimum. So it's doing the work very well. And all of us were inclusive. We are working to make sure that the crude oil term become the king of the past. If you say you, all of you, and that he's also doing that, is that an indictment on the Nigerian Navy and the security officials who are supposed to actually man the area? Uh, the thing is that uh, the security, the Navy, the civil defense corps, the military, all of them police, they are really actually working because Tatita uh, that is uh, doing this job is not doing the work alone because Topolo, uh, Tatita staff doesn't, doesn't bear arms. It's the military. And you know, these are uh, uh, crude oil. The people that are involved in this crude oil theft, they are wear arms. So going to uh, place to place, you know, checkmating them is not something that, uh, uh, you know, only Tatita staff will just go without the backup of the military. So anywhere Tatita staff are going for this uh, process, they are going with the security army and the civil defense corps. Mm. Yes. All right, so even as we begin to round up, still on this um, crude oil um, theft, you just hear that it is not the locals that are stealing the um, crude. It is not that they are one keg or one gallon or one bottle that they want to steal. It is those people who are bringing in large bats to steal um, the crude. So what exactly can be done to stop people who keep putting a hole in the nation's pocket? And then you have, uh, I hear some boys from Niger Delta who say, how many am I stealing? Just one small thing I did take. Now you people want to, uh, but there, there are the people who are the large cartels, the network. How do we break this cartel then? Yes, that one is, uh, is the president of uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That one is beyond anybody. Uh, it's beyond anybody. So anybody that is uh, doing that, you know that that person is a multi billionaire. I say, well, no, this country. So how can a local man like me, without the backup of the federal government, the presidency can stop those kind of people. You know, Topolo is doing his best, but we still need more hand to put on the eggs to make sure that we will actually bring this thing to an end. But what Topolo is doing right now, Topolo doesn't look face with what he's doing right now. So if government wants the thing to stop completely, it's going to come from the hand of the government, which is the presidency itself. All right. Thank you so much, Shamukwe Israel. It's been a wonderful time having this talk with you. And I hope that um, you and your um, other colleagues and the community leaders will come together to ensure that peace is restored in the area. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah. All right, viewers, that's where we end this conversation for today. We have been chatting with Eshanepe Israel, who is the mayor of Overland, and we've been talking about um, the communal crisis and what can be done to ameliorate the situation and also to curb the um, um, crude oil theft in Nigeria. Like we have always heard or uh, said, see something say something if you know that there is an insecurity happening around you or there is a problem happening around you you have information to help the security officials please do so as we um, ensure that there is security in our land thank you so much for tuning in my name is annabelle oji god bless you and yours god bless nigeria <laughs>